up. Think fast. Just wanted to bring up uh, this uh, anime, which I probably, I done brought it up um, for sure on other uh, videos, like kind of just slid it in there. I don't know if I did a video just on this uh, anime. It's kind of like an anime, but it's called Neo, Yo Neo Nokio. And it's, uh, it's on Netflix. But I want to just speak on uh, how the, the basically the construct or the plot or the setting of this uh, the Neo Nokio uh, the cartoon is basically what we're moving at towards the future. Like uh, where well, it's basically Neo Yokio is basically like it's almost it parallels our physical world like on so many levels. Where Neo Yokio is like New York or whatever. But basically, where all the beings like shaman. Uh, witches, warlocks, priestesses, you know, all this type of people who deal with energy are like the uh, the people who are abundant, which you see it now, like you're about to see a raise in the spiritual people having the money now, you know what I'm saying? That's why I tell people, bro, I've been catching the readings, it ain't about us sitting around and like, oh yeah, I'm gonna be scared of money because this and that, like, nah, money does good, no, money does great things when in my possession. I don't know about you, but that's what I look at. When I look at a reference of what money does, I look at what I do with money, I'm like, but anyway, <laughs> it shows uh, just basically, and two is indirectly, you see how these things kind of like program, sub subconscious programming in order to like kind of getting people ready for the future and kind of, how can I say, shaping it and molding it too indirectly. But uh, basically, all the shaman type of people are like the, you know, uh, upper echelon, or you know, they they the people with the abundance. And basically, they still do jobs, so it's almost like still like matter of fact, like the uh, anime fairy tales as well, like where they pick up certain little magical jobs, like where Neo Yokio, uh, which that ain't the Bridger name, but the the, the character. Uh, the main character, like his his auntie, is like more like a uh, kind of like the little elder priestess witch type of vibe, and you know she lets him know what the mission is. Like he got to protect this person from some demons, or he got to you know go see what's what's up in this little area because they got some paranormal activity, and so and so paid him so much to do. You know what I'm saying? But basically, it's showing how uh, how the crystal healers, Reiki, shamans, just anybody that deals with spiritual energy on a high level, not just say spiritual energy, but you know, with too like with metaphysical, like being a medium, things of this nature where, you know, not only, you know, we are we already wealthy, of course, but we about to see it manifested in a physical more, you know, uh, moving forward. And uh, that's somewhat of what Neo Yoke Neo Nokio is kind of uh, playing upon as well, you know, but uh, yeah, it's like the spiritual beings are going to be the ones, uh, you know, with the abundance and prosperity. And uh, there was something else I wanted to, I think that's it. That's why I made it a thing fast because it wasn't, it wasn't too much deep into it, but I did want to just bring that to the attention because like I said, I might have made a video on this, but I, you know, again, I, I don't recall, I didn't uh, look back to see it. I know I did a video on, uh, I mean, I know I might have possibly did a, a video on Neo Nokio, but I know I didn't do a video explaining like how we moving towards this situation. But again, it's like the, uh, the spiritual beings are almost like, you know, we're being like that, that Marie Laveau, you know what I'm saying? Like in real life, cause matter of fact, Marie Laveau don't, her situation don't get enough of credit for her being like one of the most i don't know most magical people ever recorded you know what i'm saying and, and, and two uh being where she was in louisiana as a black person you know what i'm saying with uh with uh citizenships what it was in france spain and america you know what i'm saying obituary was in new york times for obvious reasons you know what i'm saying but like go look up in your history books or go look up anything dealing with magic and see if somebody on a on a grand scale dealt with magic on that level you know what i'm saying like especially a melanated person who had uh non-melanated people shook in a time when 
when melanated people get hung at the snap of a finger still in essence you know like so the fact that she harnessed that energy where she was and the way she did it and, and, and matter of fact check out my old my, I did a video not so long ago about Mary, Marie Laveau because she's actually moving up in her godhood so to speak you know she's not just she's not just Marie Laveau the person that did voodoo in New Orleans anymore. She, uh, her energy and her soul is stepping up to another level where we, we're gonna be able to call on her like on a uh, deity type of level, you know, as well. But again, and, and I digress and just, uh, just also showing how too, how Netflix is playing this game, like the, the chess game, you know what I'm saying? Like Hollywood to move this self into Netflix, you know? Cause notice the movie Bright, sponsored by Netflix. Alter Carbon, sponsored by Netflix. And matter of fact, I seen a shift. I've been in LA for about, a, you know, a couple of months. And I seen a shift of like, where you had a broadcast of just movies in general, to now it's a lot of Netflix movies being broadcast. And we know if Hollywood is behind it, and we still got those uh, unrighteous beings, uh, you know, controlling certain areas of Hollywood, then we know that it's still a little propaganda within these Netflix uh, things, especially the ones that they hurry up and dropping. Any Netflix movie or cartoon or whatever that is just like, oh, new Netflix series or whatever, it's basically, it, it's a spiritual warfare. That's the warfare. They putting out the propaganda for the better or the worse because for some of us, we could peep the peep in between the lines and, 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 you know, and not be programmed by, you know, with whatever harmful programming they're trying to throw at us. But then uh, some of us may not be able to dodge it and we get hit by that harmful programming. So, but Netflix is definitely the vehicle of spiritual warfare right now on that level. That's the, the Hunger Games vehicle, I say. <laughs> you know, because Hollywood is like Hunger Games. It's like, you know, here it is that we know these movies. Most, a lot of us, you know, not the whole, all the masses, but we know these movies is like subconscious programming and like, telling truths about things that the government did and trying to do and we know they up here sacrificing babies and doing all this thing but we just walking it's like it's normal you know what i'm saying it's like it's, it's like that battle you know kind of like with katniss everdeen talking to the lady like with the good hair on the first hunger games like lady, like oh yeah we we're gonna give you the best things and this and that i mean we are about to kill you and watch you die but hey let me smile and you know court you and give you these you know what i'm saying like same thing out here like you know people who might vibe like oh yeah you know i see what you do this and that and then really don't vibe with me like really on the opposite spectrum of what i'm doing like it's some real angels versus demons like literally the city of angels and demons <laughs> Los Angeles Demonos. <laughs> I don't know how to say demons <laughs> in Spanish, but that, that, that should be the name of this place. But I digress. You know, but uh, again, definitely moving towards that uh, that area of where uh, the light beings, the light workers, uh, shamans, witches, warlocks, priestesses, and priests, and all these different names that they have for these good things. You know, we we are gonna be we're gonna start seeing more and more physical wealth. But again, too, uh, another thing though, what's important about this though, it comes through help like. Our magic comes through unconditional love and also through using your magic as service to others. It becomes stronger when it's in service to others. Because again, that's what, like I tell people too, like with Marie Laveau, like her magic wouldn't be that strong if it was just, ooh, evil voodoo, like, ah, like she was doing service to others. That's why I was so strong like that. You know what I'm saying? She was servicing uh, other people. I mean, that was the whole point of her doing things, was like somebody coming to it, like, oh, I want to make this happen, I want to make this happen. You know, she servicing them, she either giving them information, she servicing, servicing them by sharing information or giving them goods, like, here, take this crystal, put it under your pillow and turn around two times in your bedroom and say, I believe I could fly, and then this would be, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> And it's not to make fun of those type of things, but honestly though, some magic could be like that, you know? Cause say for instance, the, the phrase, I believe I could fly may have a geometria value of 
a certain another phrase that may mean something that's strong energetically you know what i'm saying like things would be that deep and and that dec how can i say encrypted you know uh in essence you know but <laughs> so it's around these times exactly. yeah. oh man but yeah that's uh that's basically it you know moving towards that era but i digress peace happen now now is the vibrate of course not going too far in the future not going too far in the past right now <laughs>